Hey guys, Rux here, and today I'm going to be bringing you a Module 27 um, HR build video. So, uh, a lot of things changed with uh, the rotation and, you know, the gear and everything. Because um, this trial is very chaotic. Um, there's not very many, many mechanics, but uh, there's a lot of, like, mob spawning and the timings are very different compared to uh, any other content right now and um, I'm gonna dive into like what I do and how to you know basically min max your damage and everything um, but yeah everything is completely different um, it took me a while to kind of get used to it um, but yeah let's just get into it so I got everything ready um, I just got my mythic offhand today, earlier today, and I didn't want to make the build video without it, because it just didn't feel right. So I finally got my offhand, and that's great, so I can finally bring out the build video for you guys. So as you can see, I'm using the Crit Severity helmet. Um, so this is actually really good now, because um, of the Crit Aura. Um, buff that Paladins got. Some Paladins run it, some Paladins don't, but regardless, it's um, it's still very good because without this, you can't really uh, cap your Grid Severity and have your uh, Accuracy capped and CA capped with, uh, you know, with um, everything else that uh, changed. But, um, yeah, you don't really need the crit anymore, so I just figured just to get the Grid Severity um, helmet just to compensate for the perfect weapon loss and the boots loss because the boots was 7.5% crit severity and you know the weapons were 5% so that was 12.5% that you were getting so this gives it to 10% and I got the 2% um, back from the actual stat and some some more decks. Um, so at 80, you know, plus 10% to 90. Um, but yeah, overall this uh, this is really good. And I think it's probably best in slot right now for the trial uh, for this build. Um, but let's work our way to the chess piece. So this doesn't really change, and this has been pretty much really good and best in slot for most content since its release. Um, just really good 15% stats accuracy and combat advantage you can um, get more percent damage from items like you know the boots and the the ring that gives 3.5% damage in wild space and stuff you just get a lot of stats um, you know there's this too but this is only is valuable in the underdark and we're not in the underdark anymore so yeah, so the next is going to be the arms. So this gives me 3% crit and forte. This compensates for the, the crit loss a bit. It helps, even though it's not really up a lot. Eh, I wouldn't say not up a lot, but I see myself dodging a lot. But you can get that back easily with um, Still Breeze, because Still Breeze um, gives you back your stamina for each enemy hit. So. You hit like five enemies, you know, it's 50% stamina. And, you know, if you're at like 30% stamina, you get the 80% stamina. So, it's up. It can, it can be up um, consistently, but sometimes I can see myself not having the buff because I'm trying to dodge out of reds and stuff. But I try to work my way around it. And so far, it's been doing wonders. So, let's move on to the weapons. Obviously, these are the new weapons from the trial. Um, these are pretty much best in slot for the trial only. Um, I don't think it's really good anywhere else outside of the trial. Um, but this is strictly just a Module 27 um, build video for the trial only. So, yeah. Next would be the boots. So this gives 5% damage on wild face. So you already get like 6% here. Okay, this is doubled, and then you get another 5% here, 
Still at very low, 11% damage, flat. Um, just, you know, more damage. Uh, next is going to be the Shroomwood. Uh, this hasn't been changed ever since its release. I use it for basically all my builds. Um, it's just really, really strong. Um, good item level, good stats, um, high recharge speed. Recharge speed is really strong for HR. Um, it gives you your accuracy back, and it's up 100% of the time. And uh, the new set is actually not good in the trial. This right here. Even if you can get like more stats with common advantage, um, and the item and the item and the item level, it's not really good. In my opinion, because recharge speed is way too strong in the trial. Um, just as I said, the trial is just uh, super chaotic, and uh, you want to get your hindering strikes a lot on basically like the lieutenants, plus the models at the same time with it all the time, and uh, recharge speed helps with that uh, uh, drastically. Um, just getting your consistent rotations up with uh, using. Much less at wills. That's how you do most of your damage. Um, but yeah, the uh, shroom mode has been changed, and I don't think I'll ever change to um, the new set or using the box set ever again until they bring something else um, that's better. So yeah, moving on to the rings. So I'm just uh, basically got the new rings from the trial. 5% uh, crit, so as I said, um, get some of the crit. The loss from the crit um, helmet loss. And uh, this is like 8% crit. Um, just more item, item level and working the stats around it. Uh, it's really nice. And um, basically, you want to use these two with the trial because if you use this, then you won't get. The two set from, you know, uh, like this or something. You won't get two set, so there's no point in running the other rings. So this is just more item level and uh, better stats. And just uh, this ring is just flat, 3.5% damage in wild space. And yes, they don't, they apply, um, they stack. So I think if it was both 5%, then, I, then they wouldn't stack, I don't think. But considering they're different um, damage um, additions, like this one's 5 and this one's 3.5, then um, I think they're stacking in that regard. So that works out, so that's really nice. Um, you know, so Shroomwood Shash, as I said, not switching to Shroomwood. Uh, moving on to the shirt. So this is actually interesting. Um, I actually do switch to, um, the 5% CA if we don't have Portobello, but most groups now have Portobello and Tutor because Portobello is getting way more popular. So you can, you can run this shirt and not sacrifice any other stats at all because with, uh, with the 5% CA shirt, you think you're, I think you're, I'm thinking like the 1% CA overcap. Um, like 1.5 or something, because I'm uh, pretty sure Portobello brings me to that 90% stat uh, cap. So that's 3.5 and 5%, so 1.5. Um, but yeah, just more damage. This is up quite consistently. Uh, it's nice. Uh, only 10% only less maximum point reduction, which is fine uh, with how much item power we have now. Um, I'm at like basically 1 million hit points, so that goes to that. So that's like what, 900k in this prox, which is fine. Um, if this was 20% like it was on preview, if they didn't uh, buff this, then this wouldn't be useful in my opinion. Because 80k HP is just way too low. And 90% is like that perfect uh, medium. So um, yeah, it's really nice. Uh, up quite, quite consistently and just more damage. So you get 3.5% here. 3.5% here, that's 7%, and then and then 5% uh, here, that's uh, 12%, and then an extra 6%, that's already 18% damage you're getting from all the all the gear you get from the trial, in the trial. Um, so yeah, it's really nice, and uh, in my opinion, has been working um, the best so far, in my opinion. 
Um, as I said for you guys, I don't run uh, ACT or use Rainer's build video. I just basically build my builds around um, just my own experience and logic and what's best for stats on the stat sheet and um, working with your team's support, etc. <clears throat> Excuse me. But yeah, uh, this is the gear that I'm rocking with. Uh, let's work our way to the ability scores. So I'm running strength, of course, max strength, 36 with the shroom button. Um, dex, uh, 28 dex. And I actually switched um, from dex to some charisma because if I have two dex here, that's 81. So there's no point. So I just put my points into uh, charisma for like some recharge, more recharge speed and more forte. Um, even though the forte doesn't really matter because you're going to be at 90% um, accuracy regardless, but just more recharge speed, I guess, even though it doesn't make a big difference, it's just there's no point in having 1% more crit severity. And the movement speed isn't really that big of a difference either, considering this is 10% um, movement, movement speed and um, the trial. So I uh, figure, figured that to be better. Um, so for enchantments, I'm running two citrines, one jade, and one cobalt. And for defense slot, it can be either garnets or um, the awareness enchantments. Um, either or is fine, in my opinion, but I think defense is just probably better. Um, utility, garnet for more forte, more accuracy. Um, so, solo, so uh, crystal sulfite. Um, I actually have uh, like, like three debuff artifacts. So, if I want, if people have me switch out crystal, give them either mask or wand in the trial. So I don't have to switch out anything for stats, which is really nice. And it's just like a quality of life um, to have. And you don't have to basically change around your uh, your enchantments or your companion gear, etc. Um, as you can see, all my stats are green right now. This is with um, pots right now, because I just wanted to show you the stats that I have. Um, so yeah, I don't really change out this uh, setup here for the enchantments. But most of the time I run Crystal of, of Soul's Flight. Um, but if I don't, I usually am Mask and sometimes Wand. So that works really well. Um, overloads, I actually think Devil's Position and Rage of Flames are, works the best. Um, just way more damage on Rage of Flames in my opinion than the Slayer. And sticking with uh, Lightning Flash, ever since this release this hasn't been changed. Just way too, um, <clears throat> excuse me, way too much stats. 7.5% uh, accuracy and Critical Strike is hard to come by. So. You can't really switch this out until they nerf this, which they probably will, but as of now, uh, this is the best slot for all DPS across the board. Uh, next is going to be recharge speed. Uh, you don't need a move speed. As, as I said, you don't need a move speed because you get move speed from here. And just more recharge speed is great in the trial. More encounters, less at wells, equals more damage. Um, just basic math. Um, I think that's it for gemmons and gear. Uh, let's move on to the powers. So here, uh, one thing changed, if you can see. I'm running Binding Snares, but uh, basically it's the same rotation. Hindering, sh hindering Strike, Hindering Shot, uh, Long Shutter Shot, and Constricting. For the first um, for the first pack, I run Cordon of Arrows from Plant Growth. And there's like four packs of mobs, so on the third pack, I restrained myself from using Cordon of Arrows, um, sorry, not Cordon, uh, Plank Growth. I restrain myself from using Plank Growth so I can switch to Long Shutters once we go to the bottom deck for the Lieutenants. Because uh, considering Cordon's uh, has three charges, this will, this will come back uh, as soon as you're walking towards the bottom of the deck. So you can just swap out to Long Shutters just to minimize your damage with Cordon. And the same applies to when you're down with the bottom deck with the lieutenants and you go to the um, to the other half 
a, a pack of mobs, you can switch back to Quran. Um, because uh, long shot or shot in cushion wound will probably be off cooldown as soon as you walk towards the um, towards the zone that uh, that area where the next next pack of mobs are. So that's what I've been doing. Uh, it's a little bit of you know try hard, but um, you know losing long shot or shot and gushing wound on AOE isn't really ideal, anyways. It just feels weird. Um, but I really do hate switching out encounters mid fight. If you, it does feel different and out of place, but you do what you gotta do. Um, so yeah, uh, on for first part and third part. Well, first part mobs and uh, second, se uh, third part mobs, and then wrong long shot shot and gush wound when you're on top of the deck and the boss at all times. So, um, for dailies, the shot to the shot and the slashers mark. Um, so these don't these don't change. Uh, these don't change either. Seekers of Vengeance and Crushing Roots. Um, next is uh, Rave Change, doesn't change. Throne Roots doesn't change. And I'm actually running Biting Snares. So, um, Biting Snares with this build is actually fantastic because um, we have a new insignia bonus called Tactician's Precision, which gives us um, resets on our, on our full um, encounters. Five seconds off which is pretty much uh, a full reset considering how much uh, recharge speed that we can get and the uh, short cooldowns that it has. Um, with Forest Bond too, uh, you know, Forest Bond with recharge speed is really good and uh, reduces the cooldowns and just getting your um, resets faster with Forest Bond and recharge speed. Um, but yeah, I'm using Biting Snares just to keep up the uh, Tactics and Precision, which I'll get into once we get to the mounts. Um, but this is only like a 25, 25% daily, so you can use this um, pre-fight, pre-arty calls and, stuff, and everything to get your resets. Um, you know, if there's a big pack of mobs, you can Hindering Strike first, use your full rotation, and then shut the shot. shot Excuse me, just have to shot and then um, get your full reset again, and your EP will basically be full again with Biting Snares. Uh, for uh, your slashes mark on Article, um, that's how I've been doing. That's how I've been doing the most damage, uh, just to get another max damage off in rotation, um, which I'll be probably showing in a later um, showcase on the trial. And I'll probably be doing my uh, rotation commentary and not an actual just showcase with music or something. It'll be with commentary and what I'm doing. And so you can guys can see in depth of how it's working. Um, but yeah, uh, I think this is the only thing that changed for the trial is running Butting Snares. Um, you still can run Predator if your playstyle is preference to that. Um, in my opinion, I don't think it's better at all. I think running Biting Snares is uh, more valuable because uh, you really want to get you really want to get your resets on, on your encounters uh, before RD calls, and you know when there's RD call downtime, you can get a lot of resets with uh, the shot, shot and keeping your AP uh, high for the next RD call. Um, so you basically, you can get like three three the shot, the shot. Um, Resets with tactics with tactics and precision, um, and I've been doing that and working that uh, way into my rotation ever right since the trial came out, and ever since I've been uh, practicing with tactics and precision. But um, but yeah, uh, uh, predator can be good too if you just want to stick to the lieutenant at all times. But if you want to min, min max your damage. Uh, Binding Snares is is more valuable and more like a pseudo way of getting damage because uh, you're keeping your AP up while while getting your resets and not wasting your AP. Um, just keeping your slashes mark ready for uh, an arty call. 
So, going to the boons, um, as you guys know, with Mantra 27 release, the Master Boon got uh, a rework, so you can choose uh, multiple Master Boons. I only have uh, 83 boon points, but that's enough. Um, so, just all offensive uh, points here. Uh, I could put this into defense, but it doesn't really matter. Um, you want this, movement speed, of course, um, Forte and recharge speed. You do not need the AP gain um, at all, and you don't need incoming healing or anything else. So I just suck with uh, these two and uh, put more points into the Master Boons. So here you got Blessed Advantage. This is actually uh, really broken right now. Um, I mean, it's not broken. Well, it is broken because healers, uh, if, if a healer has this and you don't have it, then you don't get it. So it's broken in that regard, uh, like it needs a fix. But um, this basically gives you 50% recharge speed, and this is up quite quite a lot. Like even right now, it's procced right here, plus advantage. Even with me standing still because I'm regening out of combat with the healing, so it's procking a lot. So that's basically 50% recharge speed, and oh, actually it went away. So that's 50% recharge speed. Oh, here it is. So, my 31% recharge speed, plus the Shroomwood, which is another um, 15%. So that's 46% uh, recharge speed with this proct. And your cooldowns are really low. So this is 10.6, so this will go down to like 9.9 9, 9 or, or so. Um, just really fast recharge speed uh, on your on your cooldowns and everything and it just uh, feels really nice and flows well with the uh, with the trial i mean this is this is good for all content anyways but uh it really feels smooth in the trial right now um considering this is the only module you know that that this got released with so just just testing it out in the trial it feels really good um the other the other ranks don't matter like power and heal over time don't matter it's just you just want the recharge speed um next is enhanced application i actually like this a lot even if it's, if it's a low chance um you're not really getting hit too much so that 30 percent less damage taken for example like a lieutenant if you get aggro or um just getting hit from a mob really helps with your survivability and not not dying equals more damage so i have to you have to take this in my opinion um especially for the trial because it's so much chaos and you never know what can happen um it's very situational stuff and i've actually uh, seen myself um taking some hits because of this and i've noticed it like i went down to like 10 percent hp from a lieutenant uh, I think it was the striker that hit me, and I took like, you know, I think 900k, and I survived. Um, but yeah, it really helps um, a lot. Uh, next is life, life lessons. So this isn't really beneficial too much on Ranger, because you're not attacking too much on at wells, but it's still more damage, uh, and, your, and your min max damage, because um, you can use sometimes your split strike um, on a huge pack of mobs. A split strike is also a really fast cast time, but most of the time you're going to be using aim shot at least 8%, 9% of the time. Oh, sorry, right here. Um, but yeah, it's just uh, you know a little bit more damage, and it's just there. Uh, I'm not sure how much it is, but there's really nothing else to take, so um, I just stuck with this. Uh, next is a bloodlust. Um, this has been basically the first pick even before the Master Boon rework. Uh, just more action point gain and um, more damage taken from 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 you. Um, so yeah, this, this, and this, and this, and this are probably best in slot, in my opinion. Unless you get more boom points, then you can rock like Deathly Rage uh, if you want to build around this. Because in the trial, you're basically killing and this, this is rocking quite a bit. So you can build around this if you really want to, but it's not that consistent in my opinion. 
it's probably up like 7% of the time. So, and I don't really like to build off of uh, uh, not consistency, but it can be nice. Um, but yeah, that's it for the boons uh, for guild, for guild uh, stronghold. I run on defense and crit, and obviously the re revive sickness, and this doesn't matter. Um, move on to the companions. So this is uh, um, one, of the, one of my favorite companions for the trial. Uh, Minotaur Mercenary um, basically does a pull. Um, I think the yeah, Tidal Force using an in it magical ability to briefly increase its gravitational mass. The Minotaur pulls nearby enemies into close striking range. I think this is up every 30 seconds. And basically, this is like a pseudo damage buff. Um, the, da the, the campaign itself doesn't do too much damage. Uh, it can do decent damage, but it's not. It's not nearly enough, um, sorry, it's not nearly as strong as, like, running Bowman for more single target damage, or running the Flump, which is basically, I don't know, like 50, 40, 40, 50 million more than this companion, the Flump, um, actually probably more, or something, um, but yeah, I actually really like this. And using this, even if there's a lot of a lot of control wizards, um, just lines up your hindering strikes more because your hindering strikes are gonna be up faster than wizards using arcane singularity. Uh, and you could also line up your hindering strikes with arcane arcane singularity too. And it's just really really like a quality of quality of life kind of thing. And I've been really loving using Minotaur, uh, and I've been working on my rotation around Minotaur, especially when it's boss fight, uh, when you're on the boss ship and, you know, those are lieutenants and some of the mobs and some wizards don't have arcane singularity up and it pulls, th pulls together the lieutenant, uh, sorry, not pulls together the lieutenant, pulls together the mobs on top of the, on top of the lieutenant and just getting your hindering strike and your syllabies and your a basically your AOE rotation off. Um, you can just do a lot of damage, and it's just really nice to have out uh, the pull. Um, and he actually looks really cool when he uses his uh, spin in his pull, and uh, I think he's just really underrated right now. Um, so for the equipment, uh, two, uh, two uh, perfect chain sword knots for accuracy and accuracy critical strike. Uh, I don't have the I don't have the new um, campaign coming yet, which I want to get, but uh, as of right now, I'm just sticking with these. So if I got the new campaign equipment, that would be a 600 more item level. So that brings me to uh, 938800, uh, which is a um, big uh, big item item level increase, but it's, it's not a big deal. Um, so for the actual companion, um, enhancements I'm using acute senses uh, I was building around using debuff purple but um, no nobody uses debuff purple uh, no DPS uses debuff purple anymore there's no point unless you're running like achievement runs or something but even even then I think running personal purples is probably better because the tenants die within an already call anyways so it's fine um, uh, obviously, Raptors. Raptors hasn't been changed. Um, Minsk, Bateri. Uh, some people actually don't run Bateri. They run more stats for the AoE. Um, but for Ranger, I, you don't need to. I don't think it's important uh, to run. Uh, sorry, not important. I don't think it's uh, worth to run more stats because you already have enough. You already have 90% of everything with, uh, with the build. And. Um, just getting more damage on the boss, and this also applies to the lieutenants, and uh, obviously the boss itself. So just more damage. Um, when you're doing your burst and um, and everything else. Um, never tonight. Alchemy damage by 7 by 5. Basically, these don't change uh, for all single target content or trials. Um, and then I actually changed out. Golden Cat for the Alchemist Discipline. Um, 
So I changed this out because of the crit loss on the on the on the helmet, and you don't need the uh, common advantage anymore with Portobello. And if you're using acute senses with with this, this is basically 50% uh, common advantage with uh, with your um, perfect spider totem and everything. Uh, everything added up, it's it's 90%. Um, I've already tested multiple times. Um, but yeah, just getting your crit strike back um, when you're not using your your critical strike helmet. Um, I think sometimes my critical strike is like 87, but it could be 90. Um, so it's really nice. It's just it's just better because you get so much damage um, additions with your weapon and your boots and your ring. It's just way more worth to to run uh, to run more damage um, items than it is to get 90% crit consistently. If you have like 87, 88% consistent crit, it's enough. It, it doesn't matter. It's like it's like a one percent difference or two percent difference, probably less. I don't know, but it's not a big of a difference. Uh, it's way more beneficial to run more damage items, um, especially in the trial. So um, yeah, I have, this is what I've been running with for the companions. Uh, nothing changed so far, ever since like a week or two. And um, yeah, we'll move on to the mounts. So I actually got my last mythic color. Um, this was legendary from my previous video, and now it's mythic. Um, an extra 200 item level, and it just, you know, com completes the mythic colors uh, that I have been struggling with for years. <laughs> I finally got my full mythic colors. Um, but yeah, I'm still using crit severity. That hasn't changed. And counter power damage. Um, and then the next two is movement speed and stamina. I think these are probably best in slot. I don't think you switch these out at all, even with you know your other classes that you want to play. Moving speed and stamina gain are really nice to have, and then this doesn't matter. Um, so the actual insignia bonuses and running tactics and precision. Um, this is brand new uh, since Mod 27 release, and this has been probably the best addition. Basically the um, basically like a, like a buff for Ranger, because it's, it's, it's insane. Um, this is only a 15 second cooldown, which is not long at all. So you can basically get three, uh, as I said, you can get three disruptive shots, um, resets with this, while keeping your slashers for, um, for burst. Uh, so you can get your full resets, uh, every 15 seconds, basically. And um, you can work that way. Uh, you can work that into your rotation with shot to shot. Um, even in other content too, when you don't have Artie call. Uh, well, sorry, not when you don't have, when you, when you have, when you have Artie and there's uh, no need to Artie at the time. You can actually use you to shot to shot and get your reset again. So basically get like two rotations within like, uh, like five seconds, five to six seconds. And, um, it's just more damage, obviously, because you're not um, using too much at wills anymore. Um, you're just getting your resets with your encounters, and getting more encounters is more damage. Um, but yeah, this is pretty much best in slot for all content uh, for HR in the game. Uh, this doesn't change. And I have this for all my loadouts. This whole setup is for all my loadouts. Um, but. This is a must-have. This is best in slot on all Ranger builds, even even Warden. It's best in slot on Warden too. Um, I actually tested Warden on preview, but uh, I'm not gonna get into that. So um, next is gonna be Warlord's motivation. Uh, just more damage on your companions. Um, just really nice uh, four slot mount. Uh, and then next is Executioner's Covenant. Um, another four slot mount. Uh, this is actually. The preferred slot, it's an extra 100 item level. Uh, that's not, sorry, that wasn't preferred slot, but um, the next is another world inspiration. So, this is going to be another 8%. Um, so, you basically get 
um, 20% damage on your companion. Even if your companion doesn't do that much damage, uh, I'm still just, there's nothing else to run, to be honest. Um, and I found this, this works best for the build. Um, the next is Artificial Persuasion. Um, I was considering of switching to another Tactics and Persuasion for 7.5 seconds instead of 5. Because um, I do see the cooldown being one second off, uh, which can be a difference uh, over time because the trial is kind of long. It's like, it's like 18, 20 minutes, sometimes 16 in a good group. Um, so yeah, it can add up, but in my opinion, uh, I'm really liking, I'm, I'm really liking the sticking with, uh, Artifacts Persuasion. It's just, uh, I can't really change this out of my rotation, um, at all. But I think in the future, I might run another Tactics and Persuasion, and just get, uh, a preferred slot, if there is one in the future. And, uh, just more item level, and more stats. But, as of right now, this is what I'm running for all my, for all my builds. Uh, literally all my builds. This is what I'm running. I click, I click, I click, like I click, I click this button, and it, it, I just applied to all that us. So this is what I'm running with. Um, yeah. So uh, next is gonna be the, um, the interesting uh, part of this of this um, build video. So I'm actually running quick action. So quick action is, in my opinion, better than running ferocity, because as I said, you really want to have your slashes markup for art for articles, and um, the six percent total action points uh, really really synergizes well with biting snares. Um, like the six percent, you guys think the six percent is not a lot and there's no point, but it adds up. Trust me, it adds up. Um, and you can actually work that into your rotation um, because you can see the quick action proc and you're like okay well I got biting I got quick action proc so that means I got 6% AP that means I can probably use another just have to shot just for more damage right and it does work and um, you can literally use like two to toughest shots if you have to and in some situations in the trial and um, you'll get your AP, uh, full, again, on Articall, and, um, uh, it's, it's just really hard to, to, um, explain and, uh, tell you how it works. I'd have to show you guys in, uh, um, in a commentary video, which I'll be doing soon, as I said. But, um, yeah, you can, you can really notice the difference with quick action and biting snares, that they just synergize so well in the trial. Um, I think anywhere else, th these don't, these two don't work well at all. You're just gonna run prey and and ferocity because you know uh, this and this only work really good because there's so many mobs that spawn, so you can get so much value off of getting your off of getting your AP, um, your AP generated with biting snares and your quick action to get proc, and it just adds up a lot. Um, but yeah, ma mainly you just wanna. You know, get your tactics and precision proc all the time, uh, and still have your slashes mark for already call um, for burst, and just min maxing your damage with using uh, resets and um, uh, your uh, ending strikes on the on the mobs as much as possible with the lieutenants because you'll proc your roots, uh, your root damage with uh, thorn roots and everything. Um, but yeah, most most of you guys kind of know that um, that's how it, that that's how it works with uh, the one roots. You just you, you get a lot of damage with one roots. Um, uh, with with the mobs and the boss at the same time, it's a lot of your damage. Um, that applies for basically all content, but uh, it just it just works really well with biting snares and and quick action to get your AP uh, above above like fifty percent at all times. You don't want to be below uh, before already call. You're you're basically above like 67 percent AP um, right before already call, and then when already call hits, you're you're at 100 uh, percent uh, AP because you get your your biting snares proc 
because this is one percent and this applies to hindering shot and hindering strike and then obviously you're constricting and uh if you're running cordon you can actually use more disruptive shots um just for more damage because plant growth and cordon uh ap on biting snares gives you more based on how many enemies you're hit so if this hits like six enemies you get six percent ap flat ap and etc so um yeah it just it just works really well with the uh, rotation and you know swapping out the encounters for certain certain situations and everything but um i think that'll be it i uh, hope you guys enjoy and uh, i'll be showcasing and comment commentating on the on the uh, trial soon and i hope you guys uh as i said i hope you guys enjoy and i'll see you guys in the next one peace